Hey guys, it's Spidey here again for another WoW Let's Play, and we're going to be finishing off some of these uh, Ogo quests, which are basically where we uh, left off on the previous video. And as you can see, uh, during this video, my bag size decides to go and fill up, so um, you'll probably see me uh, travel on my Tundra Mammoth to vendor some of the items that uh, were filling up my bag space. Now as you can see at the top there I do have a, a bag that I did loot and um, as you can see there on that quick, little quick scene there I forgot to put in a point into one of my talents and um, it was basically a totem uh, ability so I'm going to keep that on there. Anyway as the bags uh, as I was going on about um, <clears throat> When it comes to uh, bag slots and everything, sometimes when you loot bags, like when you start off or whatever, excuse me, um, you will basically discover that you will have just basically a limited amount of space in the next five minutes or something. And obviously you're killing mobs and you're just thinking, oh, well, I'll be all right. And then all of a sudden your inventory is full. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, as you can see in this video, I'm going to be basically, as you can see, I put that uh, red bag right on my bag tab, so obviously it gives me a bit more room, and um, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so as you can see, we've now finished off all the quests, well, the quest for the um, ogres, so that quest is now done, and we're going to go into this farm area and kill some of these labourers and also the bosses, which do not have the skull and crossbones on, these are just basically typical kill and collect, uh, we have to collect three heads, two male, one female, as these have become hostile towards the Alliance, and uh, yeah, they've decided to just uh, take over and become like the uh, Devious Brotherhood, if you remember from uh, Deadbinds. So um, yeah, and also we're going to do a dungeon in this video, just like we did in Wayne Caverns, but obviously with this one, it is one of the rarest dungeons you'd ever see, and especially if you're going to play um, Public WoW or whatever using the subscription. Um, you may have done this dungeon a few times, but obviously if, for those of you who don't know, uh, the dungeon that actually comes through is what I will explain um, later on. So as you can see, we're going to pick up some of the quests here in Hammerfall. This is basically an outpost for the Horde. Um, there's a place called Refugee Point, which is basically the heart of, uh, which, which is in the heart of the uh, of the Rathi Highlands, and um, that's where the Alliance can go. So we were told to kill some of these uh, Raptors. We have to collect a couple of their eyes, or whatever they were. I've forgotten. Anyway, it will show on the uh, screen anyway of what we need to collect. We need to collect, I think, ten of the. Excuse me, ten of those, and uh, yeah, so. Just note, guys, if I do hiccup or whatever, like you just said there, um, sorry for that, but uh, I'll try not to hiccup as much. I mean, obviously, I've just had something to eat uh, before I recorded this video, which isn't really um, good. I should have done it after the video, but I wanted to keep myself um, basically hydrated and also uh, just give me a bit of energy. So anyway, as you can see, now I've killed some of those raptors. Now we're going to do a quest where we've got to kill um, this troll tribe. Basically, we have to kill a couple of headhunters, priests, and of course warriors. And I've forgotten every single um, name of that, so obviously you're going to have to have a look on the screen. I mean, obviously I can't really look on the screen because the dimensions I'm, as I'm looking at right now is basically um, 320 by 240. Well, in your case, it will be 1280 by 962. So you'll be able to see everything that's basically on the screen, but I just can't bother to enlarge it just so I can tell you what it is. I mean, obviously, you can always you can always read it um, on the top of the screen. So, yeah, um, just note, guys, if you realize that I haven't been making a couple of videos is because, of course, I've had lots of coursework, as you can probably tell. Um, I still have lots of coursework to do uh, in the meantime, but I'm due to be finishing off my course uh, in a few months' time, three months' time, actually, in June. Or July, I'm not too sure. I think it's probably June, but uh, I'm halfway through my course at the moment, so that's pretty good. And I've handed in most of the works, so that is also good. So as you can see, now we're going to be racing all the way through this troll tribe, killing off um, some extra uh, troll uh, classes, uh, just so we can hand in the quest at Hammer Fall. Now, halfway through, well, actually over halfway through the um, the plow through all the all the tribe we get into the dungeon and uh, then we start to just basically have the most funniest team ever in this dungeon so obviously as you can see i'm pausing through and there we go as you can see uh, as i went past as i went back to hammerfall uh, you just quickly saw there for a split second i am now in a place called gnomeragon which is one of the rarest dungeons ever in the wow series if you remember back in vanilla you probably recognize this place by now uh, where you'd have to level from, I think you had to be level 25 or something just to come in here. Uh, but I think now the uh, matrix have changed a lot. So obviously um, 
it's become basically well it was released back in with cataclysm so obviously when you were level 25 you could come in here and do all bits and pieces now in this particular scene uh we have to work exceedingly long for some trogs to come through these little caves as you can see there's rocks or boulders as soon as they crumble then that means the trogs are breaking in and have caused a breach now funny enough i just went into that little side of the cave there just to see what was going around on the corner obviously there's nothing and obviously now all we're doing now is just waiting Waiting, 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 as per usual. Um, I do check some of the, um, the specs, especially the tank, who is a balance, which is not correct for the tank. Basically, he's a noob um, and decided to just become a tank uh, just for this dungeon, uh, whereas he was already a DPS spec. So, yeah, <laughs> bummer to that one. So, yeah, if you see noobs like that in dungeon, just tell them why, why is your spec that, because, of course, sometimes um, there might be an advantage where they can be tank and... They do, they do x-ray side but obviously they don't have, if they don't have a lot of damage or whatever then obviously that's why their spec is wrong so as you can see now we're going to run through and kill some of these trogs and also gnomes and we also get these um odd weird chickens called steam chickens that the gnomes have actually built uh i think if you look on the um gnome regard uh, look on the gnome class and then buy yourself a steam chicken you'll probably know what it is it's really really funny um and uh on my uh trial account on the public wow uh on my character rapid tricks who is a draenei hunter she um has a steam chicken which is i forgot what it is but obviously it's a technical name uh, for a steam chicken uh, but yeah, as you can see now, we're going to be running through, killing some elementals and killing some uh, oozes, or sludges actually, they're not oozes, they're sludges. Um, so as you can see, there's lots of elementals and there's a big s sludge there, or whatever it was, I think it was a sludge, yeah. Anyway, um, so as you can see now, we're going to be just rolling, 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 rolling through, uh, trying to find the last boss. Um, here we go, here come the steam chickens and also the gnomes, obviously these are basically diseased gnomes and obviously they've just become hostile towards the gnome race, so then all of a sudden, boom, they've decided to just change classes, change sides and become like their own clan, let's just say, and uh, if you remember Gnome Regan in the starting zone, as you're a gnome, uh, when Cataclysm came out, this is basically what it is, this is just the... Um, the aftermath of what it is. So as you can see, we're going to kill a couple of these um, gnomes in a group, and um, now we're going to run over to one of the bosses, which is basically above this platform. Um, we're going to turn left here, there we go, and uh, just picking up a few of these, and there we go, there's one of the bosses that we're going to kill, and nuke, 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 there we go, that was very quick. And because this video has been sped up, I don't know how many times, probably four times or something, I don't know, I think it is four times, maybe uh, five times, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we're just speeding through, and... Eventually, I think, yeah, this is the this is the scene where we start to kill um, the last boss. So, yeah, and uh, we do get quite a lot of levels in this, especially because I've reached level 36, I think, at the end of this video. So it's not that bad, really, when it comes to leveling. But, however, it is it does take a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time, especially when it comes to... Um, your experience while going to purple instead of staying blue. So there we go, we finished off Nomura gone there. I just leave the group uh, just about a few seconds in. There we go, leaving the group now. And now we're back in the Arathi Highlands and we can hand in some quests here at Hammerfall. And um, yeah, so there we go. And we're just going to pick up some of the quests here, just basically boost them up or whatever. There we go, level 36. And now we are going to finish the video here. So thanks for watching, guys. And we hope to see you in the next part where we're going to be finishing off some of the Highlands quest and then moving to the next zone, hopefully. If not, it'll be uh, the second video after the uh, next video. So peace out, guys, and see you next time.